Good morning, you guys. Happy Monday. I am vlogging today because it is officially midterms week, my last midterms ever. So um, I do have three midterms this week, which I'll explain later, but I am studying all of today. We don't have class this week because our professors, for the most part, there's some professors that don't, but most professors just give us uh, the week off from class so we can study. And then obviously the other day is going to be our midterm. So like my Tuesday and Thursday class, if I have my midterm on Tuesday, then Thursday I don't have class. I just have the week off so I can study for my other midterms. So I don't have any class this week. I do still have to go to work. If you guys are new here, I do work a law clerk position at a law firm and I work Tuesday, Thursday, and Fridays. I only have Mondays and Wednesdays off. And for this week, I have today completely off from class, from work, no midterms at all. I have one tomorrow and two on Wednesday. So. That's the update. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe. Like I said, today I'm going to be studying a lot, so I got ready because I'm going to head out to school. I'm going to the library. I'm going to study there, print out a lot of things that I need, but I'm still getting ready. I'm about to make breakfast, make some coffee, take that to go with me. And then once I'm there, I'll try to vlog a little bit, but welcome if you guys are new here. And yeah, let's get started with my last midterms week. The washer is going on in the back, so you guys can probably hear that, but here is what I'm taking with me. I have my notebooks that I take notes in for class because I'm obviously going to look over my class notes as part as my review for midterms. And then I have my Barbary outline printed out for constitutional law and civil procedure as well as criminal law and a few others. But the midterm will only cover constitutional law and civil procedure. And that is for my bar strategies course. And then I have my planner, of course. I'm taking my laptop, my laptop charger, my phone charger, my wallet, and then probably like a snack or two, a water bottle, some coffee. And then I have my little like pencil pouch in here. I have a bunch of highlighters. It's hard to do with one hand. I have a bunch of highlighters, some sticky notes, index cards, just in case I wanna make some while I'm over there, chapstick, pens, just like the basic stuff. But that's what I'm taking with me to school. I'm going to the library, like I said. I'll probably be there for a few hours and then head back home just because I've been sitting at this very desk for a very, very long time. And I'll explain why in a little bit. But yeah, I'm going to pack up and get ready to go. So this is the coffee pot that I'm going to use with my Nespresso. It's just a Melozio pot. And then I'm going to use these two, the Planet Oat Oat Milk and Sweetened Vanilla. I typically just get the regular one, but that's fine. And then I'm going to do this Chobani Creamer with Caramel Macchiato Flavor. Um, I've never tried it, so it's going to be my first time trying it. So I'm going to put them both in the frother and froth them together and then pour them over my coffee. going I'm about to head out to school I just have on my ladies football school sweatshirt my backpack leggings tiny shoes and that's it so let's go to school you guys my car is literally frozen so now I need to wait for the windshield to defrost so while my car warms up and my windshield defrosts um, let me talk to you guys about last week. Last week was really unexpected. Uh, it rained and it went below freezing on Wednesday, so our streets were actually frozen. There was like thin ice on the roads and Texas is not equipped to handle ice and snow and all that stuff. So the streets were a mess. Like there was accidents left and right because the roads got so slippery because we don't prep them correctly. And so the roads were just completely covered in ice. It was slippery, the road conditions were so bad all through Thursday.
Thursday and a little bit of Friday morning. So I actually didn't go to work Thursday or Friday because the roads were just that bad. So last week I actually ended up having like a four day weekend because Thursdays I had class at night, but it's from home. And then Friday I don't have classes, I just go to work. But like I said, I didn't end up going to work. So I literally had like a four day weekend, which I took it upon myself to give to myself as like a rest weekend. I did study, but not as much as I should have, just because I knew I still had today and tomorrow. So I just wanted to kind of relax because I know after midterms, things are just going to pick up. Like it's finals and it's graduation, then it's bar prep and then it's a bar exam. So I just took it upon myself to just have those two days to myself. I did go vote, so I did do something, but that was Friday evening once the streets were cleared. But yeah, that's the little update. Last week was just super uneventful and a lot different than I thought it would be, but here we are now about to study for midterms, but I just turned on my heater. So I'm gonna cut the vlog off here, but I'll see you guys either once I get to school or once I'm inside the library. I'm on my way home. I'm going to do my usual stop at Salad and Go because I always take advantage when I come this way to stop since it's on the way. So I'm going to stop there to grab lunch for tomorrow and then grab some drinks for today and then just make today's lunch at home. So I'll see you guys at Salad and Go. the goods i have a traditional lemonade from salad and go i'm gonna drink this right now with whatever i have for lunch and then i had to get the organic cold brew it's only a dollar it's so good and it's one of my favorites i just got it with oat milk i forgot to ask for a pump of hazelnut but that's okay i haven't decided if i'm going to drink it now since i did have that coffee earlier and i don't think i need coffee right now but i had to take advantage of the fact that i was there so i might save it for either later tonight or if not in the morning, it's going to be watered down, but that's fine. And then I got a salad. They have huge salads. Like, this is like the size of my face. And it's literally filled up to the top. Um, and it comes with a dressing. I got a chicken one, but they also have tofu. And these are only like $6. So I bought one of these to take for lunch tomorrow. Since the salad, it does last until tomorrow. And the dressing's not on it yet. So I'm going to put that in the fridge, but I'm going to make lunch. But first, I'm going to take my dog out. He needs to go out and kind of just tidy up around here, have lunch, and then get back to studying. It did help that I went somewhere else to study because I've just been here, like I said, for the past four days. So that was nice. But right now I'm going to study and I'm going to try to be done with studying by like four or five. I did book a cycle bar class at 530. So I'm going to do that and then after that I want to have my evening to myself. I don't want to do any more studying so that's why I'm really trying to get on the grind right now. So that's the plan and then that way this evening I could just have it to myself, kind of de-stress, work tomorrow, I have a midterm tomorrow night and then I have two on Wednesday. So that's the plan. I won't be doing a lot of studying tomorrow for obvious reasons. I'm at work, I'm taking a test and then Wednesday I do have all day to study. I have two midterms so I'll study in between both of them and then I'll be done with midterms. 
Okay, I had lunch and now I'm back at my desk, but I wanted to show you really quickly some of the things I printed out at school. One of my awesome subscribers actually informed me that I had access to Themis. I don't know if like every law student has it or if my school had it, like had paid for access to it. I'm not sure, but the same way I have access to Barbary, I have access to the Themis like lectures and outlines. So, um, just so I clarify, this is not the Themis bar prep. It's, it's the law school version, which like just has lectures and really short outlines, but I don't think it's the same program as bar prep. So just to clear that, but it does say bar review on there, not sure why. But anyways, I printed out all the outlines that are on subjects that are in the bar exam, which is all the ones that they have there. So I have civil procedure, constitutional law, criminal law, criminal procedure, torts, property contracts, wills, trusts, and estates, and um, corporations. I think those are all the ones that they had on there, but I printed all of them out and I made holes because I'm going to put them in a binder so I can have my themis outlines. And then over here I have my Barbary ones and I do have a lot more Barbary stuff coming in since that is the official program that I'm using for bar prep. So all my bar prep materials will be coming in soon and a lot of them are online as well. So that's the update. This is what I printed out. I did a lot of studying. I did a practice essay and then um, I just went over some of these outlines while I was there. I need to go to Target or somewhere like that so I can buy a binder for this. But for now, I'm just going to stick it behind the Barbary outlines. And right now I'm going to actually make sure that I'm all ready for my deposition course. That's the midterm that I have tomorrow night. So I'm going to go over the book, I'll grab it in a minute, and then just my class notes and some of the notes that he's shared with us. And after that, I'm just going to go over my courtroom advocacy midterm prep, because for that, we're actually direct examining a witness and cross-examining them. So I just gotta go over what questions I'm going to ask and the things I want to touch on. It's not like an actual written midterm, it's more of a like trial simulation midterm, if that makes sense. So. Those are the midterms I have. I am taking six classes, but I only have three midterms because the other three don't have a midterm. So I'll just be doing a final. For these, I do have a midterm. So I'm still doing laundry from this morning. I forgot to put it in the dryer before I left. So that's what I'm currently doing, but I'm about to drink my coffee, but I wanted to share with you guys the book that I'm reading right now. I'm reading November 9th by Colleen Hoover. She is one of my favorite authors. I think that her style of writing gets you really into the character like i really feel what the character is feeling and i understand where the character is coming from and i think she just does a great job at like showing the emotions and the feelings of the character so that's why i really like her some plots are better than others this one's really good and i would suggest that you read ugly love before you read this one so this is ugly love I suggest you read this one before you read this one because some characters of Ugly Love are in November 9th. So read this one first. But yeah, anyways, I'm reading it. I'm like halfway through it. I'm like right there. Uh, I thought about finishing it yesterday, but I honestly couldn't. I was just so tired. I went to sleep like at 1030, which is early for me. I typically go to sleep like at midnight. So I'm trying to work on that. But yeah, I did read a good chunk of it yesterday. I might finish it for sure like by the end of this week. But yeah, that's the book I'm reading right now. I have quite a few of Colleen Hoover's books, um, but I'm trying to read all of them. Um, I've heard mixed reviews on her. A lot of people do like her, a lot of people don't. I know she was really like hyped up on TikTok this past year. So yeah, that's where I got her from. But yeah, I'm reading that book. So later on, once I'm done with studying, I think I'm gonna read that. But right now I'm going to drink the coffee that I just bought because I'm definitely feeling tired. It is 2.12. It's definitely around that time where I start to feel really, really tired in the day. So time for some coffee. I forgot to ask for a pump of hazelnut, which I'm really sad about, but their coffee is so good on its own that like it doesn't even matter that it doesn't taste like anything. Um, now that Duncan doesn't have the hazelnut swirl anymore, I'm so sad. You guys know I would always order hazelnut swirl with oat milk and they got rid of the swirl. So I've been getting vanilla, but it's not the same. And salad and goat does have a hazelnut flavor, but like I said, I forgot to get it. So that's okay. 
going to drink this, go back to my desk. I think I'm going to study for a little bit and then start editing this vlog because I have quite a few clips and then relax, maybe read my book. I had one of these Think Protein Bars. I'm still studying for deposition, but I'm just about to be done. It is 4.11. I'm going to take a quick break and then get ready to head out for my cycle bar class. Okay, so I just changed into a workout top. Um, I'll probably pick up my hair once I get there, but I'm actually about to head out. It is 4.58. My class is at 5.30, but I just know there's like that afternoon traffic. So I'm going to head out now because I like to get there with like 10 minutes to spare so I can set up my bike and all that. So let's go to Cycle Bar. I've honestly just been studying and then I did stop around like three and I started reading my book that I showed you guys earlier and just kind of hanging around using my phone uh, because again, I just don't want to overwhelm myself. So that's where I'm at, but I'm going to get a quick workout in at Cycle Bar and then I'll catch up with you guys once I'm back from Cycle Bar. All right, you guys, it's 7.03. I'm about to put some chicken in the oven. I just got back from Cycle Bar and I took a shower, which is why I'm not showing you my face because I currently have a towel on my head. But yeah, I'm making dinner now and I'm about to make some rice, put the chicken in the oven and that's going to be our dinner. Maybe make like a side salad or like some broccoli or something and that'll be dinner. <laughs> 